Hi. <laughs> I always start this thing so awkwardly. Okay. Yeah. Um, what am I talking about? So to introduce myself, um, I'm Leslie Kay, and I am the blogger behind the blog, the girl behind the blog Disney Bound, which is just a really fun, quirky Disney fashion website for anyone and everyone who loves to dress up and have fun with fashion. That's not all I do. That's not the only thing. It barely pays the bills, to be honest. <laughs> so... It's more like the world's most f funnest, world's most funnest. It is a really, really fun hobby of mine that sometimes turns into freelance jobs, but I pretty much do it daily without seeing an income every single day. And I'm not like, woo, it's not how it works at all. I just really like to do Disney bad outfits for people. <laughs> I am also a social media coordinator. So what that means is I do work from home, um, but I have a bunch of clients who I run their Instagrams and Facebooks and Tumblr, blog accounts. Um, and I just have fun with marketing and social media. So, you know, what Disney Bound is, I do do for other people as well. Before I get into that, the reason why I've never really publicly answered this question because I don't even feel... Like, I'm where I want to be. I'm, like, like three rungs up on a ladder. And so I feel like to be telling everybody, here's, here's how you get to the top. I'm, like, standing on the third rung being like, listen to me. This is how you do it. And I'm like. <sighs> so when people ask me, what do you do and what are the steps that you took to get to where you are today? The follow-up question or follow-up statement is always, I just want to make sure that I am taking the right steps. My advice to you is that as long as the steps you're taking keep you going forward, you can be somersaulting, you can be zigzagging this way and that way, but as long as you're moving forward and not backwards, that's all that matters. So to give you a little background as to how I've come to that conclusion, um, I never applied myself in high school. That all changed the day that I got to job shadow with Annie Leibovitz. And she said, whatever you do, don't go into advertising and marketing. So I went into advertising and marketing. Once I graduated from advertising and marketing, everyone said, you must go work at an ad agency now. But instead of going into an ad agency, I moved to downtown Toronto and I became an executive assistant for in a legal department for an entertainment company there. And that's when I started Disney Bound because wow, I wasn't doing anything creative. So once Disney Bound took off, everyone said, oh my God, you gotta move to LA now. And that's easier said than done for Americans, but as a Canadian, we can't just pick up and move to the States. So I was like, guys, you're stressing me out. Like, I feel like if I don't do this thing, like I'm not gonna become anything. And then also when Disney Bound took off, people said, you gotta work with Disney now. Why aren't you working with Disney? I'm just gonna pick up the phone and be like, hey, Disney? Yeah, yeah, it's me, Leslie. And then still to this day, you know, I get people telling me what I should be doing with my career now. And like people saying, you should be a YouTuber. And like, this is a video for another day, but like I was super bullied in middle school and I still carry some of these insecurities. And for me to sit here on YouTube, it's like, <laughs> Like, there's lots of people that are like, hey, this is me, and oh my god, I'm going to tell you some awesome things, and you're going to listen to me, and you're going to love it, and we're going to have the best time ever. And I'm like, hey, feel free to turn this off whenever you want. It's okay if you don't like me. You know what? I was going to do, like, a list of my top 10 favorite Disney rides, but instead, I'm going to just quickly tell you my top 10 favorite Disney YouTubers, and you can just go watch them because you're going to like them so much more than me. Okay, bye. Just turn it off. So the moral of the story is people are going to think that they know what's right for you, but only you can really know what's right for you. So as long as you're having fun and you're out there doing something that inspires you, whether it's your day job or hobby, just keep doing those things that will move you towards what you want to do and what you see as your end goal. And don't stress out so much about what other people tell you you should be doing.
because odds are they don't know what they're doing either. 